Good evening. This is the Business Day. I'm Herman Green. There will be a slight decrease in gas prices tomorrow. A litre of 87 and 90 gasoline will sell for 13 cents less. However, automotive diesel will go up by $1.09. Ultra-low sulfur diesel is also up by $1.71. And kerosene will cost $1.92 more tomorrow. The upward movement on these three products will increase their price to an all-time high in Jamaica. In the meantime, propane is down $1.10, while butane will shave off $1.47. Retailers will add their respective markups to these prices. Oil prices traded lower today. Oil for delivery in November was down by $2.34 to settle at $72.62 a barrel. The Jamaica Flour Mills is increasing its use of local produce in its production. Managing director at the company, Derek Nemhart, says after 50 years of operation, JF Mills is looking at new ways to help local farmers grow their business. TVJ's Andrew Laidley reports. 50 years and counting. That's how long the Jamaica Flour Mills has been in operation. During that time, wheat flour has been a major staple in Jamaica, with the island listed among the highest per capita consumers of flour and flour-based products. But wheat isn't grown here. Most of it is imported from U.S. and Canadian suppliers. However, going forward, JF Mills is making an attempt to roll out new products which will benefit local farmers. We have some indigenous user products that's grown in Jamaica. Um, we have a sweet potato pudding and a banana bread using locally grown bananas and sweet potato. We're also looking at a gluten-free product uh, that will utilize locally grown cassava. So, for us, it's to help out the local economy, the local farmers, to produce an indigenous product that we can have locally and to export. Meanwhile, as JF Mills' aspirations for the future grow, its parent company, Archer Daniels Midland ADM, is encouraging expansion outside of its food division. The next 50 years will be great for Jamaica flour mills and ADM in the country of Jamaica, and I'm super excited for what's to come in the next 50 years and all the products and flavors and foods and, and, and renewable materials and, and whether it's on the shelf or in your, in your car for fuels or uh, uh, sustainable materials. We are looking at different aspects even of our facility um, as far as power is concerned, how we can conserve power and probably use renewables going forward. In the meantime, Prime Minister Andrew Holness gave the assurance that the public sector is positioning itself to facilitate higher growth from companies like the Jamaica Flour Mills. The public sector isn't there to serve themselves. The public sector is there as a service to the citizens of the country and to the businesses and entrepreneurs of the country to make it easier for them to do business and to grow their business so that we can get more taxes so that we can pay the public sector better. For the Business Day, I'm Andrew Laidley. Currency trading ended today with the greenback selling for $133.55. The Canadian dollar closed at $105.66. The pound is going for $176.15, while the euro is being sold for $154.11 on average. The JSE index lost 3,578 points today, while the junior market index lost 18 points. Stocks posting gains today include Barita Investments, CAC 2000, Elite Diagnostic, Jamaica Producers, Kingston Wharves, Mayberry Investments, and Salada Foods. On the losing side were 138 Student Living, Access Financial Services, Blue Power, Caribbean Cream, Derrimon Trading, Everything Fresh, and Fosrich. And that's the Business Day. I'm Herman Green. Good evening.